all right so as you can see these are different resistors and i have a ruler here with me and this resistor is about let's start from here this is in this resistor is about five millimeter long it's about five millimeter long this is the this is the this is the 0 0.25 watt resistor 0 0.25 which means one over four like a quarter of a watt this is 0 0.25 watt resistor of course i can tell by the size from experience then the next one here is a much larger resistor as you can see it's longer than 0 0.5 millimeter it's longer than 5 mm it's almost up to 10 mm let's just say it's about 10 mm this is times two of that 0 0.25 so this is a half watt resistor two resistors can be completely of the same value but different power ratings we'll get more into power ratings later in the course so that you can follow this is another resistor it's also you can tell the power rating because as you can see it's almost 10 mm long so this is another half watt resistor now this is a this is a bigger resistor this one is exactly 10 mm long and relatively you can compare the two this one is fatter it's definitely longer than this one this resistor is times two of this one so if this is a half watt resistor then you should know that this is a one watt resistor so you can see this is a one watt resistor this is a half watt resistor and this is a is a quarter watt resistor all right so the next step is we're going to be testing their values we need to see the values all right so that's for the power rating. so we need to now check the value of these resistors so the first thing we need to do is to check the value of the resistors you can use a digital multimeter and i recommend you use a digital multimeter it's very easy all right but this can be tricky but i'll guide you through the way well from experience i can guess the value of this i can tell the value of this one. not even guess i can tell the value of this one this is a 330 ohm resistor but that is from experience i've been seeing it a lot so i already know how it is i didn't memorize the color code i didn't have to memorize color codes once i see it i just know the value based on uh, i don't know subconscious uh training all right so now we need to i don't know let's assume that i don't know the value of this resistor and uh i have it and i want to check i want to know the value so the first thing i'll do is i don't know the value remember i don't know the value i have no idea so if you look closely at the multimeter here you see there's a sign here this is the omega sign it represents uh, everything that has to do with resistance so i'm going to take this this uh this uh, i'm going to turn this knob to the least value here which is 200 ohms 200 ohms yes so it's on 200 ohms now 200 ohms so what this means is that if this resistor is between 0 to 200 ohms i'll get a reasonable reading on this screen but if this resistor is far is greater than 200 ohms that is it's out of range of it's out of range uh, with respect to this selection then i will get exactly i will just see exactly what i'm seeing here just this one this one represents like infinite resistance it's too high for example the reason why it's actually showing one there is because it's measuring air resistance air resistance is completely is infinite is 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 beyond the range of this multimeter so that's why it's showing one here anything that is out of range you have to show one here so i'm starting with the least because i don't know the resistance i don't know if it is up to 200 i don't know if it is below 200 i don't know if it is far more than 200 
So I just start with 200. I might end up going higher to two megams, depending on, on on the on the how large the resistor is. So I'm leaving at 200 for now, and I'm um, going ahead to do the test. So to do the test, uh, most people hold the resistors like this. This is wrong. You don't test resistors like this because if you do that your body resistance which is a semiconductor will be interfering with the resistance reading you're getting so it's better you can afford to hold the resistor at one part but the other part should not touch you only the other lead and from what i'm doing here as you can see i'm pressing down press down to make sure that it's really really contacting yet nothing happens it's still showing one there what this means is simple it means this resistance, this resistor, the resistance of this resistor is greater than the selected range here. So next thing I'm to do is to take it up a little. So I'm going to shift it to two kilo ohms. As you can see, I've shifted it to two, two kilo ohms. Two kilo ohms uh, is much larger than and 330 ohms so you're going to see something i think you will see something so let's watch all right so we'll do that same step all right so you're seeing 0 0.3 0 0.327 or 0 0.326 anyone 0 0.327 all right that point